I'm just gonna pull this tonight. I will do this in the cool of the day. I'll cut this down and show you guys how I'm gonna save it. And then this guy, I'm just gonna cut and let the roots start disintegrating because it's gonna be, it'll probably be, oh my gosh, we got some weird mushrooms coming up in this guy from the rabbit compost. Do you see that? It's crazy. These are doing good. I'm gonna let these guys just get a little bit stronger for the next week or so. And then we'll plant them where these two plants got pulled out and then hopefully they'll do okay. This one may not do so hot just because it's, um, just because of where it's at sun-wise, but hopefully it'll be okay. So we're going to be doing equal parts of the soil mixed with some um, perlite and mixed with some of this paper base sand. This is the best sand you can find. Essentially you want like the coarsest sand that you can get. to get rid of these tomatoes really quickly um, and show you my process with if you have um, tomatoes that have unripe fruit on them um, for any reason like if it's getting ready to frost and you have late blooming tomatoes or something like that or it's getting ready to have a major heat wave that's just gonna fry your plants um, this is a good way to take that green fruit and be able to um, let it ripen in a controlled so first things first I'm gonna take off all of these support structures. So I just have the plant and then I will cut it just straight from the ground. Okay, now I've got my tomato plant upside down. I'm going to trim off all of these leaves that are not, that don't have any fruit on them. My son sabotaged this particular set of fruit, um, but there's one more set of fruit on here that I am going to trim off all of the leaves um, so it's just the fruit staying on the main stem. Okay, so for this particular plant, I literally just left this small space and I'm actually thinking I'm going to cut this guy off and see if he does just as well um, ripening just on this particular vine and not being attached to the stem because I've only ever done this with tomatoes when they're stacked still attach the main stem. Um, so I'm gonna do a little experiment and we'll get back to you on which one works better. But if you were doing this with a bigger plant, um, 
all you would need to do. So for this plant in particular, it had multiple sections of fruit on it um, that just weren't big enough. These aren't gonna ripen to like a full size fruit. They're just gonna ripen from the size that they are. So I would have just trimmed off any of the branches that had just leaves and left only the branches with fruit on them. And that is how you would keep okay. it. Okay, here's the thing with gardening. You start one project and then you realize so many other things need to be done. So I pulled the tomato plant that was here and I put the part of the cage that was holding one of those up um, to help support my bell peppers. And then I realized that some of my banana peppers need to get picked and my zucchini needs to be trimmed because it's choking out my um, okra yet again. I am not a master gardener by any means and I wish I had planted things in my garden differently. Um, I planted kind of in sections instead of, and I didn't think well enough about the height of things and how quickly some things would grow. So I have okra that's doing okay, but it's being, in, it's in competition for light with my squash plants that took over so fast in this heat. So next season we'll be replanting some things in, a, in different areas. We'll plant the same things, but in different sections. So I left this big one on about this much stem and then this one I just trimmed off so it's just the vine and we'll see how well they wrap, ripen. Um, you can, if you had like a full plant, I would just like tie it up and hang it from like a nail in your garage. That's what I've done with these nails. I just had them hanging, um, again, just hanging there. Um, but you can also just set them on a counter, which is what I'll do with these. Um, I'll just keep them on the deep freeze and watch them and see how long it takes them to ripen up. Did some major trimming on tomatoes and on the zucchini and the squash. Um, one thing I want to talk about is that tomatoes are part of the nightshade family, so you cannot give these to your animals. Um, just like eggplant is part of the nightshade, you can't, bunnies, rabbits, obviously that's the same thing, <laughs> uh, chickens, things like that can't eat the leaves from a tomato plant. So these are gonna go in the compost. Now, my animals won't really eat this off of the squash and zucchini plants, but what this works really well for, I'm gonna gather all this up and try not to poke the ever-living heck out of my hands, is it works really well in the chicken coop. So I will put this in here. Ugh, they've knocked their coop off first. They've knocked off their roost once again. They don't actually roost. Our chickens roost, sit here and sleep at night. But, so you can put that in your runs with your chickens. They'll peck through it. Um, and then we'll break it down um, as bedding. So it's a good way to not let that go to waste. And then it will also eventually just compost in with olive your chicken's bedding, which is really nice for them. We save like our pine shavings, things like that, and we toss it in here with them and they just love picking through it for bugs. And then it breaks down, it makes lovely compost. Hi ladies. Hi dear. How are you? Hi. Hi. Drop it. Drop it. Bear is our three-legged farm dog. Hi, baby. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> right in the middle of the chicken. Well, hello there. Hi. This is Marmy. She is the leader of our chickens. <laughs> Hi. That is Joe. She is the wannabe leader of our chickens. She's probably my favorite. I love golden lace flying dots, but she is just gorgeous. And then that down there, that is Meg. That is Amy. 
and that is Beth. I'm sure you can figure out what movie slash book these names are from. Hi Fluffy Butt! Our strawberry mojito thing. Um, this has been a kind of a mishmash of a couple different days, um, but hope you enjoyed the succulent pictures and the tomato tips uh, and a quarantine cocktail.